hello friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video we are going to talk about the spinning boot JDBC as we know that uh, uh, when we talk about the spring JDBC integration then spring JDBC is nothing but the one of the abstraction layer on the top of the JDBC API itself and that helps us to remove the boilerplate code which is basically associated with the plain JDBC. Uh, when we talk about the Spring JDBC integration, then uh, we need to configure uh, beans like uh, data source, uh, JDBC template, etc. in uh, Spring XML configuration file, or you can another approach you have a, you can create a class and on, on a data edge at rate configuration, and you can create a different bean to initialize uh, data source and JDBC right when we talk about the spring boot JDBC then data source JDBC etc that will be created by default so this uh, beans are auto configurable so basically this removes the uh, boilerplate code which is associated with the uh, spring configuration file right so here is the eclipse let's go ahead and create and try to understand this concept through an example so here I have a Eclipse Mars and there I have installed uh, STS plugin in, in my Eclipse itself so that I can create a Spring Boot application from uh, Eclipse itself. So he right click over here I go to the new and you will get the option uh, a, a Spring Starter Project and here and this you can see URL this is indirectly going to uh, hit uh, a Spring boot in a slider page itself website itself so here i'm going to specify the project name as a spring boot jdbc now here package name i'm going to group uh, group and package name i'm going to leave as it is and rest of the things i'm going to leave as, as it is and click on the next and here i'm going to select first of all when you want to integrate a spring jdbc a spring boot jdbc then you might select jpa right that also implicitly includes jdbc dependency as well but here i'm going to select explicitly jdbc itself now database i'm going to use mysql so these two dependency will have to select so a starter project for jdbc will be a spring boot starter uh, jdbc dependency will be included in our pom.xml now after selecting these two dependency let's click on the next and finally click on the finish now our project is created with name spring boot jdbc now if you go to the src main java in this package then spring has created a spring boot created a class it's called a spring boot jdbc application and that is annotated as at rate a spring boot application that means this is the starting point of our class this is the bootstrap class now now i'm going to create uh, first of all a uh, interface and that interface is called uh, in package dom and interface name i'm going to specify employee dom dom is data access object and here i'm going to declare some methods uh, sorry guys so here i'm going to declare this much methods these are the abstract method okay so this is simple interface which contains some methods right and now I'm going to create a model class in package uh, com.infotech.app.model and in class name I'm going to specify as employee and this class will have a few properties as we used in the past videos and this properties are private i'm going to create a setter and getter methods for these properties so select all and create a setters and getters for these properties so this is simple pojo class which contains private fields and corresponding public setter getter methods now we'll have to import so i have declared four apis first create employee there we are passing the employee object and this will create employee row in the database now second api we have a get employee by id which takes employee id as an argument and that will return the employee information which will 
uh, basically will fetch employee information from the database I will map to the Java object now second third API update employee email by ID so we are passing employee ID and employee new email address and just we are trying to update the email address based on the employee ID now fourth API basically we want to delete employee information based on the provided employee ID so basically this includes the CRUD operation now now I'm gonna include let's save it and let's create a, a implementation of this uh, DAW interface uh, so let's create a class and that will be available in the IMPL package and class name I'm going to specify employee DAW IMPL this is gonna implement this interface so this class has to implement all its method right so that's the these are the templates I have included I'll write the code very soon now this class is required a uh, JDBC template to interact with the database right so I'm going to declare here JDBC template and I would say JDBC template and this JDBC template I'm going to use uh, within this dollar API so we have a JDBC template and this template will have to auto wire so in case of a spring pure spring if you are not using a spring boot then this JDBC template either will have to configure in XML file and auto wire it over here you know dollar or you can create a Java based configuration you can create a class on a data as at rate configuration you can create a method which will return JDBC template instance right and to instantiate JDBC template you need to set some properties in JDBC so these are the things you will have to do yourself but in case of a spring boot directly you can auto wire over here now first API I am going to write uh, create so I'm going to write a plain SQL query because uh, we are going to deal with the JDBC JDBC always understand SQL query so I would say insert our create employee underscore SQL and SQL query I'm gonna write insert into employee underscore table and here we need to specify the column name so employee name comma email salary and values so here basically we are going to supply values for three columns so if you look into the my database then i have created database called spring jdbc db and we have already table so i'm going to use this table in this schema so what i am going to do i am going to create a directory in this project that is called folder it's called db db script and inside this i'm going to create a sql file and i would give the name as db and here i'm going to dump this sql query so that you can run okay so we have a three four columns so employee id i have made auto incremented auto increment so i don't need to set values for this column email employee name and salary so we are trying to set values for these three columns right so we are not sending value for all columns that's why we need to specify the column name as well and here you need to place the three question placeholder right as as uh, do we write sql query in case of prepared statement right so this is our sql query now jdbc template has a lot of api let's see what which api is suitable for us in this case so if you go to search the update then you have a lot of update query sometimes you get confused what update uh, api i should go for so here uh, let's see. we have a sql query which, which uh, contains some input parameter right placeholder so in this case uh, this is the suitable for us right first we can set the send the sql query and second uh, object var arg is there which gives you chance to supply the input parameters so input parameter if you look into the sql query then first comes employee name then email 
than salary so in same order we will have to pass it over here so we'll extract data from employee and uh, we'll pass it over here so employee dot get employee name then we need to pass email employee dot get email and finally employee dot get salary pretty straightforward okay so i have completed almost one api so the apis will complete later point of time now this DAW i'm going to auto wire in uh, my bootstrap class so here in this my bootstrap class i'm going to auto wire this top so this is basically interface type right it's still you can auto wire a spring is very intelligent uh, here this is interface right it's still you are trying to auto wire so a spring what will do on runtime is we will try to find uh, implementation of this uh, dog class and uh, that will instantiate and that will in assign to this guy and that is called auto wiring and you will have to annotate this variable as add auto wire right now now this uh, class is going to implement a callback interface is called command line runner command line runner and so that we can add a run method and here in run method here i'm going to create a method is called create employee so basically i'm going to call local method from run and here i'm going to make use of so first of all i need to create an start instance of employee sorry employee and so as of now if we look into the database then let's see how many records are there in the employee table so there is only one record now i'm going to create one more record employee dot set name i would say kishan set email kishan dot cs 2006 at the rate gmail.com finally you need to set salary 90,000 right so now employee dot dot you can call create method by passing this employee so this will create uh, an uh, object uh, this will insert data into the uh, do, uh, data into our database right and this will return us update so this will nothing but the update this is an integer this is nothing but the uh, number of rows affected by this sql query if this returns one that means one record is inserted into database and in that case we would like to print employees created employee is created right now last thing that is pending uh, we need to add uh, properties over here if you go to the uh, spring boot website then they have given what are the property basically you need to add so we need to add these four properties so adding data uh, this driver name is optional so in this case jdbc is the api mysql database uh, and uh, here slash local 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 host is a server name where your mysql server is running and i need to specify the port number of my sql server and here a spring jdbc db that's my schema name then database username is root database password is also root that's it and let's run after specifying this let's run this application see what happens So saying that fail to start no bin type of employee talk okay so one mistake we have done here this uh, 
class has to annotate as at rate repository that we 